Hello, this is Ed Rohn, CTO of Music Computing, here to give you a brief overview of the GeoMIDI software. The GeoMIDI MIDI mapping software provides an interface for changing the MIDI assignments of the control DAW. The control DAW includes knobs, faders, buttons, and encoders with push buttons. GeoMIDI can be used to assign controls to the control DAW. Each fader, button, or knob can be configured to send out a variety of combinations of control, note, or pitch bend data. Numerous presets can be created, saved, and recalled for use. When you want to know what the default assignment is of a control DAW element, simply view the easy to understand inspector of GeoMIDI. The inspector automatically displays data fields that can be used to change the values and types of controls an element will send receive and also displays the name and ID of the element. Selecting a control will automatically move the inspector to that control. If I press the pad button directly beside this button, the inspector changes to it, shows me the value and the type of control that it is. If I select an encoder, it changes to the encoder, shows me the value of the encoder and what type of control it is. If I push a button on the encoder, it shows me the value and the type of control. Also with a fader, shows me the value and type of control. That's the inspector. A major feature of the GeoMIDI software is real-time banking. GeoMIDI's mapping feature allows for the creation of four separate custom control layouts called banks. Each bank can be assigned a MIDI channel and contain various combinations of control, note, pitch bend data, and MMC assignments. On the control DAW, banks are labeled A, B, C, and D. These are tied to the recall bank option in GeoMIDI. Pressing a bank button on the control DAW selects that button's bank option in GeoMIDI. For instance, if I press bank A, it selects the recall bank one. I can edit the settings there. Set a MIDI channel by either dragging with the mouse or using the up arrow, down arrow on the keyboard. Bank B selects recall bank two. I could edit that and make a different assignment. Once you have the different options set up that you want, recalling a bank is very easy by using the bank buttons on the control DAW. So that's pretty simple for banking. GeoMIDI includes a very useful utility called MIDI Spy. Clicking the MIDI Spy button opens the MIDI Spy panel. The MIDI Spy shows a variety of MIDI values that are being transmitted in on the port of your choice. Any device you have connected via MIDI to your Studio Blade or iKey Dock will show up in the drop down port window. Moving a control or device displays the incoming MIDI messages. You can use MIDI Spy to confirm the control DAW or any other controller is sending the proper MIDI to the system. The MIDI Spy shows controller numbers as well as controller value, 127, 0. It shows note numbers for parameters that are mapped to note numbers. It shows the velocity of incoming MIDI data. Program change messages coming in, pitch bend, channel pressure, or MIDI channel. Thank you for watching this quick video of GeoMIDI. If you want more information about GeoMIDI or to check out the other music computing products, which are awesome, go to musiccomputing.com. Again, that's www.musiccomputing.com. This has been Ed Rohn. I'll catch you later.